The only thing coming to my head is a Rock'em Sock'em Robots joke, and I don't want to do one, so... Music! Real Steel. Real Steel is a movie that follows Hugh Jackman, who's just like a sleazeball dad. It basically, he uses fighting robots because... Boxing's gone now, they use robots to box because it's more intense. Hugh Jackman, he's poor, he really, his robots keep getting destroyed, and then he has to take custody of his child, son, blah blah blah, he's ten, for certain reasons. And then the kid finds a robot one day and he trains him, and then the robot wins a few fights, and everyone starts getting shocked, and then he moves up, and... Real Steel. When I first saw the trailer for Real Steel, I re I wanted to see it. Most people thought it would be crap, but I wanted to see it because I thought it looked really fun. A bunch of people made horrible jokes about it. I, di I didn't care. It looked good. And over time, my interest started falling a bit for the movie, but I, I wanted to see it eventually. I'm surprised I saw it opening weekend, though. I just... It just happened. It's about as good as I thought it would be because Hugh Jackman, he's very, very good in this movie. All the supporting cast is fine, but the kid... The kid... He's a good actor. He was good for what the script gave him. His character was one of those annoying kids, and I find kids really annoying in movies. This kid was pretty annoying at parts. Sometimes he was fine, sometimes he was funny, but sometimes he was just downright annoying. The action in this movie is very breathtaking. I watched Tron Legacy today, and those action scenes carried no weight. They were not breathtaking, they were boring. These action scenes, these fight scenes, were so well done, and you just... You feel for the robots, surprisingly. You feel for the robots during the movie. This is some of the best action I've seen all year. Up there with Warrior, Transformers. So good. There are some touching moments in the movie. Like Hugh Jackman trying to connect with his son. Trying to get him back. A problem, though, with the movie is it gets pretty silly. Like, this movie was aimed more for children than adults. Because... There's a scene in the, there's a part of the movie where the kid is teaching the robot to fight and he starts dancing and it, it's really goofy and I was just like, ah. Also, the movie is actually pretty funny. Like, Hugh Jackman has a lot of good funny parts. Each person in the supporting cast has some funny parts and it was just, it was nice to be able to laugh during the movie too. Some movies like this would do it and you wouldn't be able to laugh a lot, it'd be more serious. It would just be boring. Real Steel is a very fun movie, you shouldn't really take it too heavily. It's just a good movie to be able to watch. There are two good movies out this weekend, finally. Definitely take it if you have kids. Definitely go see it if you want more of a fun time. Go see The Ides of March if you want, like, a serious, really well-done movie. This movie is just really fun. Great action and good performances. The kid's kind of annoying and there were some silly parts. I'm gonna give Real Steel a large popcorn. So what'd you guys think of Real Steel? Which movie would you like better this weekend if you saw both of them? Ides of March or Real Steel? Write your beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button up there, because if you don't, robots are going to take over the earth eventually, so just bow down to them.